Muy buenas a todos chicos, seguimos con la historieta, vamos a entrar ya al almacén, tenemos que poner cuatro cargas de, de explosivo para que explote todo y se vaya todo a tomar por culo. Así que vamos a ello, estoy disfrazado de este pero ya no cuela porque obviamente lo encontraron muerto, por lo tanto es absurdo que siga disfrazado del señor este. Así que lo vamos a poner verde y nos vamos a poner... Verde militar. Vale. Ya de entrada tenemos uno allí que yo creo que me lo voy a quitar de en medio ya del tirón. Se me mueve el pulso porque tengo hambre. Vale, entiendo que los trabajadores no me los voy a cargar o no debería cargármelos, por lo tanto... Joder, con el hambre, tío, cómo se me mueve el pulso. Ay, Dios. Venga, a dormir. Eh, no tengo nada para comer. Esto no creo que haga... Bueno, algo hace. Vale. Una ración. Una ración. Ok. A ver, este tío que si me lo cargo pasa algo. ¿Eh? Le dan el hombro, ¿eh? Ese va a caer. A ver, ¿quién más hay por aquí? Ahí estamos. Ha caído. Ese también lo duermo. Y aquel también lo voy a dormir. Más tenemos por aquí. Vale, otro que ha caído. Aquel va a caer también. Ya, venga. Vale, me he quedado sin silenciador, pero tengo muchos. Vale, a ver quién más queda por allí. Allí queda otro de mantenimiento. Me voy a cargar el día mismo. Y aquí queda otro de mantenimiento que me voy a cargar por aquí. ¿Le he dado? Tengo dudas. Ahí hay un guardia. Me lo voy a cargar ya mismo. Vale, me he vuelto un pro player ya, ¿eh? A ver. No hay nadie por aquí, nadie por allá. Vale, a ver dónde están los, los tanques de combustible. Aquí tenemos uno. Una sopita, de puta madre. Aquí, 3, 2, 1. No, va a salir mal la cuenta atrás. Como tengo prisa, vamos a ir a por faena. Vale, ¿qué más hay por aquí? 
Vale, aquí hay un, un tanque hay aquí. Vamos a ello. Tendré que, que ponerme, supongo, el C3, ¿no? C3, 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 C3. Vale. Vale, a ver, seguimos. Antes de que se despierte. ¿Dónde están los siguientes tanques? Tanques, tanques, no los veo. No voy a dar mi prisa. Venga, por faena. Tengo segundo. Tercero. Y el cuarto está allá arriba, así que vamos para allá, pero rapidito. Venga, puestos. This time. Venga, vamos. Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Ahora encontré al coronel, seguro, ¿no? Snake. Oh, ah, yeah. Quedan 13 minutos. Estoy jodido. This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The philosopher's legacy.
This microfilm contains all the information regarding the legacy. You might say that this film itself is the Philosopher's Legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. <laughs> Isn't that right? <sighs> that do you have something to say to me go to hell <laughs> you dirty whore i've had enough kisses from you <laughs> Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the Philosopher's Legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. During the last Great War, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects, enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the Philosopher's Legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the Philosopher's Legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming power, assets fitting of our great country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. Money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool, Granin, failed to produce results. I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog, Sokolov, and his invention, the Shagohod. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. 
the boss was conniving enough to see things my way. The world was once one, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this, we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. That trump card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra unit. I have lost the Cobras. But I still have the Shagohod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C-3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Leave everything to me. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course. Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even. Judo and no more field strips. Yes, there is no door. Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? Thank you. 
5 minutos 44. Vale, tenemos a Ocelot, a Volgin y yo no tengo la MK22, sí que tengo la MK22. A ver, asqueroso. Tirito. Venga, va. No te veo, no te veo. Cago en la puta. Qué cabrón, espera. Veas. Ay, Dios mío, un tiro me queda. Coño, tío, que... No sé ni qué tengo que hacer. Venga, venga, venga. ¿Qué haces, tío? ¿Qué pasa? Vale, ya me lo he cargado. Asqueroso. Mi gata lo celebra. ¿Le da Negri? Asqueroso, púdrete ya. Vamos. Hop in. 
Vámonos. I don't want you to fight her. But I... I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two. Something I can't understand. Something that goes beyond a man and a woman. I envy you. Really, I do. But I guess I just can't understand it. She asked me to tell you something. Seen someone with such clear eyes. There. I said it. Ready to go? Yeah. Pues ya tengo que hacer yo antes, tío. Joder, hermano. Joder, que no puedo darle, tío. Venga, pero tira no frenes, hombre, que hay, porque haya gente. ¿Será posible? Bueno, que tengo que hacer a este bicho. Come <laughs> on. 
you ready? Step on it. If it catches up to us, we're done for. Okay, here we go. Yo no le doy a ninguno, tío. Ay, no recargues ahora, cabrón. Hostia puta. Hostia, es que no, no, no va tan rápido como para darle, tío. Complica este, eh. Me cago en la puta. Hostia. No, no quiero guardar. Aunque bueno, ahora que lo dice guardar no estaría de más, eh. No sé si me va a dejar.
Joder, hermano. Hostia puta, yo no me voy ni, ni queriendo, tú. Qué malo que soy, la virgen. Pero si he dado. Que no, no es preciso del todo, ¿sabes? Como los juegos modernos, le das un poquito y se mueve más. Complicado. No sé si puedo hacerle algo, la verdad es que lo dudo mucho.
over. Look! Vaya, un besito. Here goes. 